Welcome to the Assimilators. It's time to dig deeper into the character of John Proctor in Miller's Crucible. You can see the typed version of this topic in the description. Let's begin. Who is John Proctor? John Proctor is the most central figure of the play, The Crucible which is written by Arthur Miller, a famous American playwright. The personality of John Proctor is marked by his all-the-time anger and some positive versus negative sides of his character. John Proctor was lecherous, hypocrite but his stubbornness turns him into a man of steel who will sacrifice his life to put a full stop on the witch trials and to secure his good name. A lecherous person. John Proctor is in his 30 when he takes liberty with a 17 years old girl, Abigail. Proctor remains proud about his good name and reputation in his society but the revealing of such shameful act in public might destroy his good image in his society. This event takes place off stage in the play but it has a significant impact in the story. We are told that it all started when Proctor's wife got seriously ill and the services of Abigail Williams were rendered as a maid. When Proctor is asked to recall the Ten Commandments, he forgets the tenth one which is related to adultery that thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Isn't that ironical? John Proctor is a man of steel. When his wife is arrested for practicing witchcraft on a doll, John Proctor is set towards the course of his redemption. Although Elizabeth Proctor is saved from being persecuted because of her pregnancy, John Proctor decides to stand for the people like Giles Corey who was stone-pressed to death. Also, he refuses to sign his name on the false confession because firstly, it is a fraud, and secondly, it will ruin his reputation. He tears up the confession in front of the authoritative Danforth which leads to his tragic finale and he is executed. In the last two acts, John Proctor proves to be a man of steel who fights with indescribable bravery for his wife, his executed friends and his good name. Elizabeth alludes to her husband's victory. He have his goodness now. God forbid I take it from him. Conclusionary Remarks John Proctor, though he may have a blotted history, but he makes a good history for himself as well as for the people who sacrificed their lives for retaining their names through his tragic departure. You have successfully made through the end of this video. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.